Well, a quest for power, reputation, and territory. New on the night beat, two leaders of the Bandidos biker gang already under federal indictment on charges of murder, facing new charges tonight. With them, four other alleged members of the gang, all charged with the 2006 murder of an Austin man. The night team's Bill Barajas was there as they had their first court appearance. Used to riding a motorcycle, these men getting into a transport van at the federal courthouse Thursday afternoon. 47-year-old downtown Johnny Romo, 45-year-old Robert Romo, 40-year-old Jesse James Chronic Benavidez, and 35-year-old Norberto Hammer Serna Jr. all facing a 12-count indictment. It accuses the man in the killing of a rival biker, Anthony Bimish, who was reportedly trying to start a Texas chapter of the Hells Angels. The document says the man warned Bimish to stop recruitment and activities for the Hells Angels. He ignored them. On March 18th, 2006, the group murdered him outside an Austin restaurant. All four are now being charged with one count of discharging a firearm during a murder in aid of racketeering. Johnny and Robert Romo are also being charged with murder in aid of racketeering. Also included in the indictment, two of the highest ranking members of the Bandidos, National President Jeffrey Faye Pike and Vice President John Xavier Portillo. Pike and Portillo are being accused of directing, sanctioning, approving, and permitting members of the Bandidos to carry out acts like murder, attempted murder, robbery, assault, intimidation, extortion, and drug trafficking to protect and enhance the organization's power, territory, reputation, and profits. Court records show the Bandidos declared it was at war with the Cossacks. Shots fired. This shootout at a Waco restaurant in 2015, perhaps the most publicized show of that war where nine bikers were killed. Pike is currently out on bond. Portillo remains in federal jail. Both are waiting for their trial dates. The four men charged today are facing the maximum sentence of life in prison or death with a $250,000 fine. They were given no bond and are expected back in court on March 7th. Live from the federal courthouse, Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News.